Okay, welcome back, Sars and Mars. It's taking me to this page when I click uh, continue. <clears throat> and if you look what it's telling me, it's saying plugin checks. There are several plugins, thousands of plugins that are with Modu. But because I had downloaded this particular plugin and I've installed it, because on this particular system, I have module running on the server already. So this particular module application has also now detected the plugin. And the plugin name, as you can see, uh, it being written is a class. You know, this is a theme, a theme. It's a free theme that they've released their source code to module for use. So because I want to use that particular theme, uh, a, a, a theme, the name is class. That's why module I detected it in my previous installed uh, module. So just like I've said earlier that I have module app running on this particular system. I have to do this so that you can see how you can install it. But for you, you won't have this particular page. So I'm going to say it should upgrade now. Reason being that the, the theme will also work with this new uh, module installation I am doing presently in the system. Remember what I've said earlier, this particular system had now been turned to a server. And how did it turn to a server? It's just by the installation of a WAMP server or you install a ZAMP server. So once you've installed either of the two, your system automatically turns to a server. So uh, I click on the upgrade module database now, meaning that the, the team, which is the class, is going to attach itself uh normally now with this particular module i am installed so remember i have said earlier that i have the module installed already so as you can see now uh it is installed now so it is installed now so from here The reason being that it's not going, uh, it's not taking us through several, several, several installations is simple. It's because I have a module that is running on this particular system before. But from the stage that it says continue, it's going to take you like an hour. Let's just say an hour or less than that. So you see several things coming up on your system installing and installing and installing so just continue to click next continue make sure you read through everything is showing you then from there you are done with the installation once you are done there will be a portion or a place where it will be asking you to put in your username uh, then it will also be asking you to put in your password so ensure that you don't forget your username and your and your uh, password then from there you can say it should take you once you put your, your username uh, your password and your username it now takes you into the uh, the module hub itself so it, it should take you inside the module hub from there you begin to do your customization you are just like the one we did in the class so from there, you do your customization. You have the overall uh, uh, power. So let me use that word power. The, uh, the administrator's uh, power, privileges. So where you can then now begin to apportion uh, parts of the module to, to people to use. So just like the way I'd apportion to some of us in the class when we're in the class. So that is that is just it so uh, i've said earlier that this is just a follow-up of what we've done in the class and 
you being able to install module on your system. Never panic. It will take hours before you get it, but it's an experience worth uh, experiencing. So from this junction, I'll say a very big thank you and a big thank you to Wam Devin for making this uh, uh, this uh, possible. Thank you very much, sir, uh, Dr. Lowe. And thank you all the faculty members for this rare privilege. I'm so grateful and thank God for your life too. God bless you. And also more importantly, to say a very big thank you to my emeritus, Professor Peter Kipukala, for his knowledge that he had imparted into people like me. Thank you very much, Prof. And may God continue to provide and protect you for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Bye. All right, I've said bye earlier, but I need to quickly come back and let us see what we have here. You can see the administrator, site administrator. You can see my courses, the dashboard, the home. Uh, this is the name given to it, and you are right in there now, live. So from here, you can begin your customization. You can begin to do all your customization, and then everything becomes yours. Let's take a look at the dashboard. Let's see how it looks like. Clicking on the dashboard shows you further some other further information or uh, things that you can work with. So, wow, here's the dashboard. Now, this is a dashboard now where you can do several customization. You can, you can see what you have. Let's go to home and see how the home looks like. You can see the teams we are using is, uh, is, a, uh, is a team that came with it. We've not actually changed our team, but we have other themes like the class which we've already installed along with the system. I mean, along with the installation, when it was uh, asking us to upgrade to some things. You can see the home. Uh, you see the home. It has, it's, um, it, will, it will soon display. You can see the home. This is how the home looks like because this one will not done any customization. Uh, well, I think we have to go. Yes. So try your hands on it. If you have any issue, can contact the Tolowe who will contact me or just drop uh, a request on my YouTube page there and surely 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 I'll get in touch with you so Dr. Lowe I'm grateful and also to my emeritus Professor Peter Kebukola I'm grateful also to my HOD uh, Professor Silas Ebuo thank you very much and the rest of all you all I'm so grateful. I thank you all and God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye. Bye bye.